Starbucks is one area, but there's always interesting company action, and recent days have been no exceptions. And we're lucky to be joined by, once again, by the founder and CEO of the Stock Swoosh, <laughs> Melissa Armo. Melissa, thank you. It's always great to have you with us. We pre appreciate you coming back so soon. My first query, and I know that you will have some opinions, is sort of a twofer, and it is the headline we just talked about. The CEO of J.C. Penney, Marvin Ellison, is leaving, but he's going to Lowe's, the home improvement store. How is this going to impact both of the companies, J.C. Penney and uh, Lowe's? Well, hopefully it'll help Lowe's. As far as J.C. Penney goes, I don't think him leaving is, can hurt the stock anymore. I don't think anything can hurt the stock anymore. The, the, the stock gap down on the earnings this past week, and it was trading around $2 and some change. The stock is, it looks like it's going to zero. I don't know what, if anything or anyone, can help J.C. Penney. They've really got to make some serious, serious changes. They haven't been able to compete with all the online sales. They haven't been able to bring people in the stores for a long, long time. That stock has been in a downtrend for so long. It was hanging on around that four, five, six dollar area for a, for a good amount of time, but now that it's down around two something, that I mean, it looks like it's going to nothing. It's it's sad actually. Uh, is is uh, it sort of begs the question when I talk about pennies because you know when when I was a kid, uh, the the stores at the mall, one end was pennies and the other was Sears. Uh, is Sears yeah. sort of same in, in the same boat, Melissa? Same boat. I mean, same boat. That stock price is slightly higher than J.C. Penney, but not that much. Anytime a stock starts to dip under that $10 range, it's very dangerous for the stock because then it, they tend to keep going, going, going. And that is what happened with both Sears and J.C. Penney. And they're both in the same boat. Again, you used to buy, Sears was a big place to buy appliances. And now, guess what? People are going to Lowe's. People are going to other stores, like even, even places like Home Depot, Target, these are all of these companies are uh, people can buy the same types of products at the cheaper places, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, than they can at the Sears and J.C. Penney's. And they're just not that exciting. People aren't excited to go to Sears and J.C. Penney's like they used to. Uh, well, it, it, we didn't practice this, but that is a perfect segue to what I want to talk about. Uh, and that is the retail apocalypse, Melissa. Uh, and yeah. I, supposedly, I, I read that Mr. Ellison actually did work at uh, Home Depot uh, for a number of years, 14 years or something, as I recall. And the question is, a lot of these retail uh, stores that are going down because of Amazon uh, are just going to mm -hmm. be, you know, fodder for the trash. And, and maybe that's Sears and Pennies, as you're describing. But what about stores like uh, Home Depot and Lowe's? Uh, you're not going to order a bunch of two by fours or drywall right. uh, from Amazon or have UPS deliver it. So is the retail apocalypse actually something that is not going to impact sort of these big, ba big box home improvement stores? Well, they're all trying to keep it, compete against one another. I'll definitely say that. But Home Depot stock looks great compared to a lot of other ones. Even Lowe's Home Depot is is in a strong, strong uptrend. I really like Home Depot a lot for whatever reason they've been able to market. And they also probably sell to a lot of little small builders that are building stuff, not just the regular home buyer. So people are still going into Home Depot, like you said, and buying things. That stock looks great. And hopefully Lowe's is going to start to look a lot better in the next six to 12 months. Uh, Melissa, we've just got a few seconds here, but I want to get your take on housing stocks. They were on a roll last mm -hmm. year, but they've had some bumps on the road. How do you see st housing stocks going forward for the end of the year? That's another tough one. Toll reported this week, Toll Brothers, that stock fell in the earnings. The stock is in a downtrend. It doesn't look that good. Now, it doesn't mean things can't turn around for the home builders before the end of the year, but we are into almost half, the, half of 2018. And the market has been holding the uptrend. So to see an earnings report like that with a miss, it, it's not great for the, for the builders. And of course, as you know, mortgage rates are on the rise. And I do believe they continue to rise into the end fall and end of the year 2018. So people are slowly slowing down with the building. Now, the one thing is I thought I was surprised that they didn't have a little pop with interest rates rising that maybe mortgage rates would make people come in and want to lock it down and buy homes now. But the home builders, are, are the stock charts, they could recover by the end of the year. But if you combine that with looking at the rates for mortgages and the interest that people will have in doing home improvement loans, home equity loans, refinancing, or even buying new houses, it's not looking that great with interest rates on the rise. That's the problem. Always a fountain of information. Melissa Armo, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.